Because they can do some deceptive damage on these structures if not careful. Oh, Jump in, the dunk. Not the biggest catch right there. Right on the ember, but uh, no damage at all. You know, did he, he have the flame guard already out? It's he side of his dodge the echo, I believe. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I don't know how you kill oh. Iceberg anyway. Going to come down a lot to this second Roshan. The Aegis Jesus so big on either team. They go right to the high ground. They spotted out General, and they go in fast. Return fire coming out from Iceberg, and Luna unleashing a fatal fury here. And committing in with the Eclipse. There's the dunk. The response, Iceberg though, slides it down, gets the chains, and still lives on. Happy to fight it out. Aloha Dance and V-Tune continue the fight forward, and clean house is all of Viking GG will fall. Whoever gets gone is going to get nightmared. Right now, those supports are trying to hide up within the trees, but here comes the haunt. This is what you're supposed to do to be able to scout them out and try to finish them off. Big dunk, okay. big blow up. Does finish off the Rubik, but can they get the VIPs? Can they get the cores down? Because if they don't, they're going to turn it right back on you and finish you off. And it looks like that may be the case here. They ended up losing Boom. Now they lose Pesca, uh, Precious Shad, and they are both going to be forced uh -oh. to buy back. This is the final hurrah coming out from Viking GG. And without that dunk, without that firepower, you know, this looks like a, a failed attempt at best. Let's see what they can do, though. Going right to Luna. Iceberg on the back line is eating a bit of damage, but oh, the, enter the Enchantress now. Gripped up. Slice down, and your final set of racks start crumbling away. And they're done for. It's uh, Butterfly Luna pushing their base. Iceberg had an arcane rune that fight. They'll GG out. A valiant last ditch effort, but all they really got in the end was two supports. Not even close for Viking. They are just way too far behind. You know that she has no TP, and they're sending Aramis now to the bottom lane. Nature's Prophet. Should be level six very soon. It looks like Viking GG are trying to open things up on the bottom where possible. Moving in, Aramis with the stun. They have the damage follow up. Shad able to clean out. Aloha Dance. General now gets so, slaughtered. TP into a plus one. Not sure about that. TP always want to fly. Oh my god, Toby now here. Double kill for him as they clean out three Fly to Moon members. It will cost him celery here as Iceberg swings through. Not going to be able to find Shad with the too dramatic, but. That is going to be revealed, and okay, a Yule's opportunity here. On to a little inch. Tiny's back in with another blink. Oh, here we go, Aramis. He's blinked into four. I uh, don't okay. know about that one. Not enough firepower, but it's enough for Drow to help in getting the clean out and finish with the Earthshaker, so that's going to be a dunk taken off the table and away. DP will fall next, and they just put their full focus onto General. He's trying to fend it off with their shield, but he cannot beat them away. Now a move in from V2, and he's committing in the ulti. He's giving them everything they have, but it's not going to be enough. No one can stop Shad. Shad on the outline is just hitting him like a turret with all of that damage. Going to make their move around uh -oh. top, but Roche has respawned, so... Okay, look Aramis. at this. Boom with the DD and Aramis. Aramis is able to he's find in. the stun toss onto Iceberg. They quickly turn it around onto Aramis. Will easily... No, the Glimmer save comes in, and he's going to be just fine. Now a jump in Arena to force the Luna back. She's trying to move on forward to go for the finish onto Boom, but now gonna be committing in with the full Eclipse. Toby and company running, make it back and away. Gerald looking to chase out, but Shad has found himself in a good position again on the outside, trying to deal in the damage, but it's looking like Fly to Moon actually besting this one, chasing it out. Shad's forced to BKB TP away, and look how the tables have turned. They kill the little neutral creep, providing the extra bit of vision. They spot the Enchantress nearby. They commit in for a general. That's a bigger Spears kill. in Aramis to the Roche Pit to finish him off. But here we go. The, the general gladiator in a bit deep, though, gets shot down as Shad steps on forward and starts dishing out the deeps, taking him out, looking to go for Iceberg next. Iceberg still fighting with the back end of the exorcism, but it's not enough. Shad gets that double kill. They fight from behind the pit as Aloha Dance is narrowly able to make it out in a way, but Viking have reclaimed the Roche for themselves. Fly to Moon can't hold for round two. Potentially. Well, we'll see. Funkin oh, wants to lead out first. Pops a DD in the beginning Which of the work here. on the Wi-Fi here. There comes the Coconut. The cop between both of them. They Shakers do manage to catch the Meldic onto Roger, and they finish him off before he can even go down. That last second silence coming in from Taiga. Funic does finish off Insania, but it costs his own life, and it's Quikfa getting the double, and he's not done yet. Little Miposhka doesn't even want to turn around and get the, the Fates Edict off. It wouldn't even matter. The Wolves and the Necrobook would still swarm them. It's going to be Quickfoot with the triple. They can cut across the lane, but they're not going to make it there in 10 seconds. Yeah, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. 
They're trying to jump mid. Yeah, they figure nope. not all five Liquid members will be here if some of them are going for the outpost. Oh, but that fissure, so yeah, separates them a bit, and now he's going to get isolated. The follow-up grab on the DK as he gets bashed in his spot will also go down. They suffer to the hands of Koikva, who scores another double kill for himself, and he ain't done yet. He sees Maposhka, a cute little treat right there. It could only take three right clicks to finish him off, and it is done. Triple kill here. I think Sonic Wave, that's Meldict, and that's a kill. They're there gonna try go. and chase, but they don't really have any fight. Will they wipe them all out? Oh, funny. Just look at the difference in what I love them just uh, this Oh, he tried to go for the Chrono, but the Tornado opportunity just kind of slipping away from Liquid, it looks like. There's the jump in. They're going to commit in for the Weaver. The Death Ward. Everything they got and the Reaper Scythe, that will be enough to go for the finish. He doesn't have a buyback, so this is now a 5v4 with a few less ultimates on the Liquid side, though they immediately blast down Boxy. Mickey, look at it going for round number two. It gets trapped in a sprout. He eats a tree, but there's a tree there. <laughs> So he's stuck inside for the time being. Now, hit with the Yules, quick follow-up. Moving, Taiga, two-man dunk is there. Could this be the time for Liquid? Is the follow-up enough? Can they at least finish off Kinsani? Yes, they can. Huge. Long-winded fight for Liquid, but it still might be for not. As they continue to suffer losses here, Mickey could be next, forced to time walk away. Him and Insania are the lone survivors. Smoke too soon. It is just Mickey now to protect himself. This is what we like to see, though. Look at Liquid. They smoke. They are still looking for kill opportunities. A jump in this time. A two catch onto Chrono. It's Invoker. It's Weaver. The Death Ward. The Reaper Scythe. Not Neither enough. are going to be going down. Not enough damage to get a finish. And if the story goes, you want to finish inside your Chrono, this story could unfold very nasty for Liquid. If they could get out with the Void. Ah, uh, he's just trapped. He's silenced. He's getting Good rolled Pango on there. all day. Pango just finds the perfect spot to lock him down. Boxy tries to go for a, a valiant TP out, but is quickly canceled. Roger is just ownage, man. This guy is a proper gamer, that's for sure. Yeah, but Weaver's got an Aegis, and Furion's yeah. got a cheese. So yeah. There's the dunk. They're going to commit it. And uh, they're not even going to get the Aegis. He's able to get the time walk off. Thanks, well. This might be it. Funnick scoring the double kill. Cleaning out three members of Liquid now. Four members. A buyback has to be forced, but the Raxes are already down. Long jump, long oh, chase. A run for the outpost. Quick, get that 30-minute outpost Looks fast, like fellas. Taiga. Taiga just all in to stop it. Oh, he's good. But he survives. Here comes Liquid, though. This could be a good fight for HR. In. Funnick, though, is going to get swarmed. He tries to fend it off. Mickey trying to go for the finish. Well, Roger and the Monkey King go for the back lines themselves, looking to burst down Insania where possible, and they're successful on that. Funnick will survive, and this one looks good for HR to begin with. Liquid, Funnick has though, a blink stun. on the chase, moving in. There's that crush, and they'll finish off Taiga. Quake for moving in with the Requiem with the BKB Ooh. pop, tries to dish out right click. Finally can finish off Funnick, but Kasani. Standing his ground, right clicks Koikva and now realizes that it's not going to happen. A buyback comes out from Taiga and he rolls in to stun him in his tracks. Follow up going to be there for Miposhka and four hit the deck suddenly from HR. It looked like a great fight for them from the get go, but Liquid. You know, I've heard that story before. Yeah, will we get a famous Reddit thread for the crazy throw of 2020? Well, they've lost their Monkey King. Kasani narrowly able to make it away as the siege had continued from Liquid at the top, but look at this, now they know that Funnick's a bit alone, or not Funnick, Quick is a bit alone, with the exception of that man the right satanic. there. The Satanic. The Boxy Weaver, the life return, the Satanic pop, he's trying to survive through the death hole, the Monkey King hole, but it's not gonna be good enough. He doesn't have BKB out of this. I think he's dead. He comes back now, and Roger hits oh him with the roll. Oh my, Liquid, what are you doing? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here they come for Boxy. They're looking to get him next. Mickey jumping in as the second round of firepower with the Shivas and all. Looking to take it to him. Witch Doctor buys back, but he can't even close out the kill on Kasani. He hides in the sprout, but what TP is canceled. Kasani will end up falling. Funnick and Nyx now. Jumping up and over, trying to get the hit. On to Mickey here. That would be a big takedown if they can burst down this Void Spirit. Woo, he gets time-lapsed.
That's he his lives. last astral step. He has an assimilate though. Oh man, he gets it down. He's running. He's running. Oh, the chase is on. Oh, we missed. Another astral step. Woo! Monkey King is good at chasing though. <laughs> oh my god, they are gonna get him. Another he astral step. For Shiva's BKB. He's like, I will try to take you with me, Witch Doctor. No. Yuke up to the high ground, up and over the hills. Yes, OS Frog, yes. Giant space is created right now. Galaxies as... Uh, My boy's liquid, always keeping things interesting. <laughs> I don't really, An old wise tale of the biggest throw ever. I don't really remember where I heard that from, or even if I saw the game, but... Well, I can't refute it. There's the jump Action. in. Liquid rolls on to two. Monkey King stands his ground, tries to fight it out. They're going to lose Phonic. They're going to lose Insania. Monkey King, no buyback. They get eating a lot of damage, forced to go up. Bomi Poshka commits in with the ult. Here comes Koikfa's big Requiem to fear them back. They blast them down with the right clicks, and it's going to be enough to finish up Kasani. He has to buy back now, but it's just him and Pango. Scratch that. It's just him now.